Now I'm going to go a little more in depth on the topics that I was focusing on by playing some excerpts from my three interviews. First we'll look at digital literacy and, uh, and we'll start with some comments that Matt Howe had to uh, say on that topic. big part of that is teaching them the basics of how to read. And we do that as seventh graders. Yeah. We, so, so I do, a, we don't have a technology specific class. And we found with the, I guess, you know, again, when I say we found, I'm saying it's like the little kids who make some of the decisions that are helped make it. Even some of the teachers um, and some of the stuff that I've just studied so much more of it is done effectively in regular courses rather than like a standard technology course like hammering everything every time they're going to do something. Yeah, because when they do it within their content area, you know, it's like, okay, we're going to write a research paper for English. But while we're doing that, I'm teaching them a couple basic things. How to write, how to use some of the, the applications on your computer that can help you um, storyboard or script out your writing. I can help you with learning how to sites at that time, so teaching that piece along with how to do your writing. Um, you know, all of the things that go, I think, hand in hand along with the contents. Along with the tech it's not you. Well, it, it might be me part of the time, and I do do some specific lessons on technology and that kind of stuff. Um, digital literacy, anything around you know, internet safety, digital literacy, uh, the basics to using some of the and most of the app stuff is going to be done by the teachers. So, you know, if they're teaching them Keynote, or if they're teaching them iMovie, or if they're teaching them, a lot of that's done again within the kind of the longer yeah, the content. Yeah. So that was a clip from Matt. I apologize if the sound was a little low on that. My uh, recording wasn't as uh, the volume wasn't as, as high as I would like to. So now we'll move to Matt Mervis, who is the consultant working in Massachusetts, and we'll hear some things uh, that he had to say on the topic. Sort of an ed tech class, which in theory is meant to provide some of the baseline foundation skills. So we have a, a learning management system, for instance, where kids do digital Dropbox and maintain electronic portfolios. Um, so in that class, they learn sort of the fundamental tools. There's a range of, of you know, kind of enterprise-wide applications from an IT, uh, kind of using IT language. So we make sure that they're proficient in all those apps, um, as well as you know how to type and how to um, you know be thoughtful about what's credible and not on the internet. How to be careful about their own social presence online. Excuse me, and, and we you know both do that in that class that's taught right now by a neat guy named Dan Rudolph. And any any of these teachers, by the way, uh, there's a link off of the off the main page um, that links out to teacher pages. Mm -hmm. You can see Dan's uh, site and get a, a slightly better flavor, drill down sense of what he's doing. Cool, I'll check that out. Yeah, actually, someone just sent me a link to this. They, they, every Friday in Little Frederick, they do something called Bagels and Laptops, which is like a little informal mini PD session. Someone just sent me a link to something that Dan was doing where he was building tutorials, you know, so for kids who were not at school that day were able to follow along. Yeah, so there was a, there's, it's in the kind of core curriculum. and um, So it's built in as a separate class to get started, and then... Yeah, but we... we pay some serious attention to make sure that um, they uh, they um, that those kinds of skills get woven into uh, sorry get woven into um, you know the, the curriculum sort of broadly although we never really did I mean I think we should have I, I regret this a little bit um, it, it, we always meant to do sort of a formal scope and sequence of, of how these foundation level skills get integrated into um, the curriculum and academic subject areas. Mm -hmm. I just finished, um, if it's useful, I could send you a copy of the abstract, but I just finished a, um, a pretty big federal grant for New York City. Uh, New York's teeing up uh, blended online learning and virtual 
uh, of the kind of a virtual platform for kids to be able to take AP and credit recovery is more of a upper, middle, and high school focus. Yeah, I'd be so, interested in seeing that. Yeah, this, this whole broadband space is something that I've, I've spent a lot of time in the last 18 months since Obama. They put some cash on the table um, for uh, incentivizing home broadband access in, in the, you know, urban communities or rural mm-hmm. communities where kids and families don't have the skills or hardware or connectivity to take advantage of this stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we built a course called Connected Foundations that I think is the best thing I've worked on yet that um, is meant to do what you're, just, what you're asking about, to build a really solid foundation for kids to be able to um, you know, then accelerate uh, both in class and also independently. Cool. Yeah, I'd love So finally, we'll hear some uh, opinions from David Zucor. Um, and he was in the again in the program where they didn't have the one-to-one laptops, but they do a lot of tech integration. Basically, my role is to train. I'm a I'm a integration specialist. Okay. So I I train teachers, um, and I work with teachers on how to use all the all the technology in all the elementary schools. So I have okay. seven schools, and then Belinda is in charge of the secondary schools. Okay. And at the elementary level. We have in most of our schools, uh, we have a technology teacher. Okay. And just like kids go to music or art, they go to technology. Right. That would be a computer lab based. Right. And that's quite controversial, actually. Mm. Uh, We have some principals and buildings that don't want a tech teacher. Interesting. uh, Because philosophically, and I agree with this philosophy, philosophically, every teacher should be using the technology with their kids. Gotcha. Um, The reality, in my opinion, is that when you do that, while you encourage teachers to progress, you leave kids behind because you have a very inconsistent model. Right. And if you don't get kids by the end of elementary school to have the the skills that they need, then when are they going to get it? Right. So... My personal opinion is that we need to continue to have our tech teachers teach, uh, and we have a scope and sequence from kindergarten through fifth grade of, you know, starting with, you know, mouse skills and keyboarding and working our way up through spreadsheets and databases and Mm -hmm. internet literacy, internet safety, all of that. Okay. And so the tech teachers are primarily responsible for that, but our classroom teachers are responsible for uh, applying those skills. Right. So they might go to the tech teacher and learn, um, you know, learn how to design a spreadsheet, but then teachers are responsible for creating projects that are tied to the curriculum. And actually integrating that technology in. Right. Okay. And then so you're working with, well, you're working with both sides. You're working with the tech teachers and the integration part of it. Correct. Okay. So that's uh, three views, some similarities for sure uh, amongst those three very different uh, backgrounds of those uh, gentlemen, but also some very significant differences. It was interesting to hear, hear all three. So next we'll move to the other major topic area that I was focusing on, the best practices.